there, everyone. Welcome back to Ladder Up. Today, we're 1613. So, one point less than yesterday's episode, which is good because we forfeited the first battle almost immediately. Uh, I think after turn one or two, two after turn two, because things were just not going great. And I blame the American education system for that. Does that make sense? No. Am, am I am I an American? Yes. And what does that mean? That means that when I, even when I have an opinion that makes no sense and is not founded in any kind of logic, I'm going to stick to it as if it's the truth. And if it's not the truth, and if it's refutable by fact, I'll just pretend that's not the case. I'll, I'll make my own reality. That's, that's what being an American is. So, if that made any sense to you, or if you're offended by that, I don't care. We're, gonna, we're gonna just going to get into it. We got the Slabroni team here, and I'm happy. I'm happy, not because it's the best team in the world, uh, because it's not, but I'm happy because Slowbro is dope, and Cradle is awesome. It's a fan favorite. Not really it's a fan favorite. It's a it's a creator favorite, I, and me being the creator uh, of this channel, not of everything. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, you know, Braviary is cool, too. So there's some interesting stuff here, and uh, I, I like it. I like Marowak. I, I... Marowak's weird for me, because... It works, regular Marowak um, works really well, I guess technically Kanto Marowak works really well with Braviary in terms of synergy. It's super nice. Kind of doesn't work as well with the the Coco if the Coco doesn't have a spread move like Discharge, which I don't really like that much, but I don't, I'm not, except for I think the first episode where we played this, I didn't really have too many issues with that on, them being on the same side of the field. Uh, I guess one small downside is that if my opponent were so inclined, they could kind of use that against me. Like, knowing, like, oh, well, he doesn't want to have an end game where, you know, it's like this one turn, like, is he going to protect this, switch out, do that? Well, they might have some more leverage against me knowing, like, oh, he's not he's not going to do this because then, you know, it's going to be his Coco next to Marowak against my thing that he needs to Coco to knock out. And it's like, that would be bad. Uh, so, you know, but I, I hope to not see them on the same side of the field like that, hopefully ever. But the, the, my original point is that Marowak, I, I, I like it on the Trick Room team, and I would love to just make it minimum speed, but I'd also like to use it in Tailwind. And I think it's got a decent enough speed stat that I could use it for some things. Like, it can outspeed, I think, base, one, base 95s in Tailwind. So, like, it can outspeed Lele and such. Um... So, but it's still under speed a lot of things in Trick Room, so it's you know it's there, it's doing stuff. It's not super slow like Slowbro. Uh, Mega Slowbro is base thirty, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I'd like to be able to find a freaking battle I'm over here talking about nothing, about nothing, not a Dagum thing. What is Dadgum? Why do people say Dadgum? I guess I guess it's. You're trying to say Dagon, but you're saying Dadgum. But what is, what is Dagon even? What is that? Does anybody even know what that is? What is language and why do we use it? Dagon. Dang, one. No, that's stupid. That's dumber than Dadgum. <laughs> what? Am, what does my life become? All right. I'm gonna just go ahead and skip right to the next one because this is this is just getting dad gum ridiculous. <laughs> mm, I sure hope I took this part out. If you're seeing this, and I hope you're not, every time I do one of these things where like in the in the recording I say, oh, I'm gonna skip this, I'm gonna edit this, I'm gonna do that, do this, and then you know, I leave space where I'm clearly not talking to remind myself when I'm editing, like oh. I'm not talking. Must be something to cut out. But I also always go back and say, I sure hope I cut this out. Because I think <laughs> if I did it, it's, it's not only embarrassing, but then it's hilarious for you. And not just awkward like, oh god, he forgot to cut it out. What an idiot. I might just leave that in, actually. Maybe. But this is in there. Good for you. Good for me. Good for America. Good for America. Team Slowbrony. Let's go. Let's do it. Do it, do it. Put your back into it. Also, if anybody ever sees me... So I found, when I was opening packs from uh, the, the booster packs I got from Roanoke, 
Uh, I found a little Kangaskhan card. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, it's not like worth anything. It's not rare or anything. It's just cool. But if you have, if there's like a Kangaskhan EX and you ever meet me in real life and you want me to be your best friend immediately, uh, yeah, give me one of those. <laughs> All right, Akira here with a, I think it was a good rating, like 1700s or something. Um, Akira, that's a great movie. Stay focused. Charizard, Metagross. Coco, Landris, Neolego, and Cresselia. So a lot of weird stuff here because I don't see Charizard Metagross on the same team as Megas usually. And you certainly don't see Neolego and Cresselia on the same team usually. You usually see, uh, if you don't see Cresselia, you, you, would, you might see Neolego taking the same role as Cresselia a little bit. But it's just strange to have one or the other. One over the other. This might be, this is probably a Scarf Neolego, honestly. Probably some stupid like Sludge Wave, Scarf Neolego. Uh, yeah, I, I don't see a good reason to not go this, right, right, and just try and go Dunkaroonie. Okay, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go Tailwind this first game, and the second game, no matter what, no matter what, we're going slow, bro. I don't care if it's a bad idea. I don't care. You don't have to boss me. God. What was it? I was watching a, one of the funniest lines of context. Uh, one of the funniest lines out of context I think I ever heard was uh, on this documentary called Too Funny to Fail. About the Danny Carvey show, 1997. It's a whole thing. Uh, but Bill Hader, a uh, longtime SNL cast member, uh, says a line where he's basically like, Teen, like teenager yelling at his dad, you have to boss me, Dad. You're home improvement. I'm Dana Carvey, and something about that just resonates with my little my little soul. Also, are you, are you trying to set up tricker, mommy, baby? Is that what is that what this is? Is that what this is right now? What do you, what do you, what's your quest, my dude? Ken. <sighs> Metagross is gonna attack here, right? Right? You're not just gonna... You're not just gonna do the other thing, right? No. Well, you know what? I'm gonna play it super simple, because I'm a simpleton. And, uh... Do I think you can knock out my um, Braviary in one hit? No. Sure hope not. I hope I EB'd for that. Probably not. I mean, Ice Punch, neutral, is that gonna, is that gonna knock me out? I don't know. You tell me. I guess we'll find out when I get Ice Punched right now. Hammer Arm. The who? That's kind of bonkers. That's really bonkers. Hammer Arm, bro? Oh, you're. Oh, it's okay. That makes sense. It's trick room. Well, I mean, I knew I had trick room, but if yeah, that's a nice term on play. You, you trick room, you hammer arm. Cool. Cool, bruh. Uh, yeah. I. Ooh, any reason to not just bop right in this thing? You know, I know you resist this. I'm gonna double in this Neo Lego. Megros protects. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're calling. We're calling things. We're calling things. It's just okay. So just in case, you're not gonna be able to survive this. Are I mean, I know you resist, but you have like not great defense. And this is a Braviary. It's strong. So you resist, but also you're you're a jellyfish. And jellyfishes get eaten by birds by like pelicans on the beach so you should not okay good because the one thing that could have been bad is if if it had been a super berry and we had it just survived and then gone bleh, 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 and then we had knocked off into it and that would have been super bad uh yeah tapu coco the problem of course not being that i can't uh knock on tapu coco uh, how many times do I have left? So I gotta, gotta kill something. 
That kills something. Uh, is there a, what else is there on the team? I'm not gonna outspeed the, the Coco with my thing. I'm not. Do I even want to bother? No, not really. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna double into it. I'm gonna play real simple. Cause if you if you don't if you don't thunder if you dazzling gleam right. Yeah, and Cinema goes down, which is annoying. And you do have ice punch. I thought you'd have to hammer arm. I was like, I, I don't mind if you're at minus two, but that's kind of bad, actually. That's really bad, actually. That's super bad. Now we're in a very strange position. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. This is where discharge would be so nice. In fact, why don't I run discharge over Thunderbolt even? I mean, you have to have Dazzling Gleam because, you know. Metagross is going to switch out, I feel like. So we're just going to, we're going to try and kill. Oh, you switch out Coco. What? Okay. And protect Metagross? Yeah, okay. I, I thought you'd do it the other way around. Okay. Alright. Um, strange, but I'll take it. That does no damage. Well, now my thing's not gonna live. It's not gonna live anything. Uh, maybe. Who knows? I'm not sure what Landers is gonna do. I mean, if it's the Z Landers, we just, we just, we're done. We're done. This battle's going on a, a while. Oh no, I guess we we took forever to find the thing. Oh, it's knockoff. Okay. 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 So if we can just like crit the thing. Oh, we really need that. Uh. Thick club. Oh yeah, we're just we're just not even gonna not even gonna bother. So yeah, I think discharge is better on here. Uh, uh, the reason I don't have it really, if you want to boil it down to anything, is that I don't have a top of cocoa with discharge on it. I don't. I ain't got one. Ain't got one. So let's avoid that in the future. Um, yeah. Ice Punch, Hammer Arm, Protect, I guess, I guess Iron Head, that's a strange, strange moveset. I like it. I like it, actually. It's kind of cool. It gives you a lot more flexibility, I think. Now, if I was going to run that, I would definitely not run uh, Jolly. I would run Speed Investment, for sure, just to make sure you can outspeed things like um, not Scarf Lele and such and just hit him hard. Pro I'd probably run enough speed if possible to outspeed, uh, run Adamant with enough speed to outspeed Mega Kangaskhan if that's possible. Just to hit it with a hammer arm because that'd be really strong. Um, but then, yeah, since you're not investing as much speed, since you're not as fast you, with your hammer arm, you actually can underspeed some stuff in Trick Room with the Neo Lego. That's kind of cool. So we got Moon here, the team of stuff that you always see. And, uh, there's a Charizard, Metagross, Landorus, Tapu Koko, Cresselia, and an Amoongus. Amoongus. Why am I voice so squeaky? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I mean, this video is already at 15 minutes, but I can't jip you on another one. I just can't. I can't. Not like Monday. Not like yesterday. <laughs> Here we go. I think Trick Room would be fine. I do. Coco? Or, yeah, I think we bring Coco. We could bring the Cradley. I mean, I could. 
Actually, Braviary is probably better here. But I already said I was going to bring the bro. I already said I was going to bring the bro. You know what? No. I'm bringing the Kraid. I'm bringing the Kraidly. I'm going to regret it. Because it would be so much easier to win this battle with Tailwind, probably. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Because it's like, if I want to go Tailwind, I, got, I have to dedicate resources to... Knocking out Cresselia in one hit, and that's kind of hard to do. You have to knock it off first, and then there's a bunch of other stuff. Top coat Cresselia. Okay, so this is what I was worried about. This is what we're avoiding. Electric Seed. That's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a huge problem. I'm Moon. Six, oh, 1689. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, um... You know, I gotta say... It's not looking too hot. I'm also gonna say, I think our best bet... <laughs> is, to, is to win a speed tie and crit an Electrium Z. We're going for it. We're going for it. Am I a madman? Am I a madman? Uh, leave in the comments below. Am I a madman? Yes, I am. Oh, we won this big time. Okay, come on. <laughs> Crit it. Crit the cocoa. Crit the cocoa. Oh, that would make me so happy. Make me so happy. And then if the Cresselia trick room's for us. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Not sure why I made that noise. Come on. Oh, that looks like. Oh, 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 oh! No, 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 no! Oh, you were expecting a. You were expecting a. A Marowak. Oh, it's called Microsoft. Oh, this is what happens when you think too hard. <laughs> Go my route. Make a terrible play. Just make a terrible play. It's fine. I, <laughs> that worked out nicely. Okay, call mine Cresselia. That's fine. It's annoying. Manageable. The plus one defense is going to be annoying. But, we have options. We have options. Landorus. Okay. 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 I think here it's prudent. You have a Z move, don't you? Volt switch that Cresselia, I think. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna get real weird. Alright, you're not going to Earthquake. You're going to target down the bro. The bro. Call mine. And you're going to target down the bro. Don't, don't, don't target my, my pretty little, my pretty little cradley. Don't do that. Don't you dare. Substitute? What? Why? That's, that's cool. I like it. This whole, this team is just bulk, bulk of Saurus Rex. I don't like it. I literally, I literally in, in like two sent two adjacent sentences said, I like it. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Landers could pro was probably going to protect, but I can't just let it knock out. Yeah, I can't just let it knock out Cradley. So I got to do this. And hopefully this takes it out. It's not a salt vest, and we know this because of the energy ball, or because of the substitute. So, plus one energy ball. We already used our Z move, so Z move would have definitely taken it out. Okay, it is Z move. All right. That makes me a sad panda. A little bit of a sad panda. I'm not happy about it, because that's going to kill our Cradley. Mm. Yeah. 
And then another call mine from the stupid Cresselia. And my knockoffs are going to do poop damage to it. Wait, Crayley lives? But it's high shock. For good measure. Yeah, okay. Alright. That's a... Okay. So if this Cresselia has Moonlight, it probably can't touch Incineroar. It's probably got Toxic or something stupid like that. Alright. Okay. Yeah, this Cresselia is such a pain. Electric Seed, Calm Mind. Yo, that's broken. That is so... Yo, if you're not running that at a tournament, you're stupid. That's broken. We already saw... We killed the Coco. Something in the back. Lance is gonna protect, right? I wanna knock off the Cresselia just to get something. Yeah, protect. Slack off its slow bro here. Just to preserve it a little bit. And maybe next turn I can U-turn. Yeah. Give me that health back. I'm a big boy. And actually, since this guy's Psy Shock, my slow bro can wall the Cresselia. Unless it has Toxic. If it's Icy Wind, Moonlight, Calm Mind, Psy Shock, we're good. If it's got Toxic, we're kind of screwed. One turn of Trick Room, right? Right. Two turns of Trick Room, okay. So now, we'll go ahead and uh, Flare Blitz into the... We'll, we'll, we'll do this. This is this is nice. I like this. Side Shock, hopefully knock out the Landorus. We got we got nice we got nice stuffs. And a flare blitz if it could crit, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. I'd be a happy panda then. That, oh no, just barely. Moonlight. Okay, yeah. So it is Moonlight, Calm Mind, Psy Shock. It's probably gonna have Icy Wind. In which case, this is gonna be very, very annoying. But not the end of the world. What's the last Pokemon? Metagross. Okay. Okay. It's okay. We have options. Okay. Slurbo is kind of useless right now. But uh, you know what? I'm gonna let it be useless because I'm not gonna give. I was thinking like I could get fancy, you turn into the. Actually, I probably should you turn into the. But I don't want my my uh. What's it called to go down just for nothing? Okay, Metagross protects. So you turning into Coco would have been better, obviously. But this doesn't change much. If the Cresselia does. Yeah. It's not going to matter. With these two in front of it, it doesn't really matter. Because Psy Shock's based off of your defense, and and we resist. So we actually are kind of fine. I want to do the thing again. Unless this Metagross has Hammer Arm, we should be okay. Just knock out this thing. hope is this a thing now this is actually a thing now that people are doing we're doing hammer arms and I just boosted oh I just boosted it I just boosted it and it does have icy wind okay we still resist that right yeah okay so we're okay not great but it's okay That really was the only w way that we we lose. 
I didn't use my Z move. Oh no, I did, I did use my Z move. I would love to win this. This very long battle. We know it doesn't have Trick Room. So. Only w we have one option. One option. We're running out of time. We gotta reserve. That was such a waste of a turn. Hammer Arm. That's so dumb. Hammer Arm! Okay. Metagross is gonna protect here. Should. So, a crit. That literally, I mean, that's our out. That's that's our one out, is a critical hit. Come on, critical hit. Metagross protects, okay? Cresselia is gonna Psy Shock into uh, Coco. So we need a crit. So one out. That's not it. <laughs> it started moving real quick. Slow bro voids? Okay. Oh. I was almost excited. That's actually. Oh, oh, critical hit. Let's say if we survived that, we actually would have still been fine. Well, now we're just gonna forfeit. That's sad. Yeah, that hammer arm won my opponent the game. All right, let's let's go ahead and just forfeit. We're not having happy times. This is sad times. <sighs> Good game to Moon, I guess. So everyone, apparently, and I, I'm probably the last on this train to know. All the Metagross right now have Hammer Arm. All of them. Assume that all Metagross both until you have visual confirmation. Assume that they all both simultaneously have and do not have Hammer Arm. Because when, when you need them to not have hammer arm, they're going to have it. And when you're afraid that they do have it, they, they ain't going to have it. They're going to have some other ridiculous coverage move. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, not say that. Uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. This one took a while. Sorry about that. I'm going to move on to the next thing, uh, next battle. So like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff that I always say a thousand times. You know the drill. And I hope to see you back next time for another episode of Ladder Up.